Mr. Spade, are you alive? Okay, let's take a quick look at that little scene. And uh, this odd arrangement here is basically uh, all of the elements that were used to create that scene. Very simple uh, in many ways. I like to do things quick and dirty and uh, quick as possible, uh, which is good and bad, but uh, this will show you a little peek behind the curtain at what we did. So it's very simple elements, very simple shapes, things you can pretty much get in iClone and in your paint program. And so let's take a look. Now these walls, if you'll look, are simple bitmaps. And I just uh, drug them in from my uh, folder of files. Let's see, we'll just drag something here. Kind of hold down the control key and bring it in here. And uh, now we'll uh, play with this image here. And uh, you see you can uh, bring these images in very quickly and uh, create the, the uh, room. Uh, textures are crucial, and a decent texture uh, will get you halfway there real fast. And so I simply just uh, uh, use textures to uh, build the wall and didn't really do much modeling or shaping. Uh, even this uh, chair rail kind of section here is, once again, just simply a bitmap that I drug in and uh, gave it a bump. It gave its, it's used its own image as a bump map, real quick and dirty method there. Uh, the floor is the same way. Uh, everything else, all the props, of course, uh, typically a few I made, but uh, most are from the uh, warehouse, 3D warehouse, and that'll help. Uh, created the uh, clock on the wall here. Uh, did find that, and then I made some modifications so it would actually uh, work and the uh, fan is easily modeled from uh, props in uh, iClone and uh, so let's put things back together here Hit the uh, control Z here a few times here we go okay now uh, we've got a work light turned on and I like to uh, have a work light when I'm working so I can see what's going on. I'll turn that off and now you'll see pretty much how the set was lit. Uh, very little ambient light if any. Uh, and notice now we'll turn on this uh, window key light and that caused the reflection of the uh, fake window. And this image uh, was simply an image created in uh, your paint in a paint program. I did Photoshop but you can pretty much create it in any paint program. It is a ping which allows for an alpha channel which allows uh, light in iClone to shine through that uh, bitmap and cast a reflection, a shadow, on the wall. And uh, that was a quick and dirty way to do it in uh, your paint program. And uh, now you'll wonder, uh, the ceiling here, uh, obviously the shadows are turned off to cast shadows on it. Okay, here we go. You can see, let me get this moved over so we can see it. Uh, it was... Uh, See, if you cast only, then it's going to uh, block the light coming from the window. If it's receive, then not a problem. So uh, we can use receive on that. And so that takes care of that little element there. But once again, it's simply just a, a bitmap dropped in for the ceiling. Yes, there are hard edges, and if you can avoid those, great. But in our situation, I usually... Uh, let the ambient occlusion kind of soften the edges as well in the lighting. So let's take a look at some more lighting effects here. Turn off the props and let's go down to uh, our lighting and we'll see what we've got here. Uh, we've got a desk lamp and uh, it's going to be hard to see that here from this angle but uh, we've got a desk lamp here. We'll turn that light on right there. It's causing a little light here to hit uh, Sam. Uh, we had a little desk lamp fill here, like so. Uh, and uh, we have some more room fill, uh, just very light touch, just a little bit of fill in various spots in the room. And those are just simple little point lights uh, 
iClone 6 will allow you to have a lot more lights. This scene, of course, originated in iClone 5, so I was limited, but now I can have a lot more lights. But I don't like to go crazy with lights. I mean, if they're motivated correctly uh, and they look right, then that's cool. Now, the door, of course, I didn't even create a door. I just used a simple box uh, for the wall since my camera wasn't going to look that direction and uh, basically just uh, animated the uh, box opening. Now, uh, let's turn on that light for the door and there it is right there and now uh, we just simply animate that box opening and uh, see if we can get to where you can see the light hitting the wall over there and there we go you can see a little bit of that we'll zoom on in here but uh, that light of course was the light for the door and uh, simple uh, basic lighting plot there uh, and then, of course, made everything black and white using an effect. Visual, color adjust, and we use the black and white uh, filter to do that. And took the color out simply by adjusting the gray style slider. And that gives black and white, which I, of course, prefer for most noir type productions. But that's basically the layout of the scene. Uh, very simple. It's all about, uh, of course, uh, getting some nice props, building props, or finding them uh, for free. And that'll help sell the scene. And then uh, some good lighting. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that helped a little bit. Give you a little look behind the curtain there at uh, how a uh, rather simple scene was set up uh, in iCloud. Mr. Spade, are you alive?